I did a poll on my YouTube asking about the topic that I should cover in my next video and without a doubt you guys want to know my thoughts on black girl curls so we're getting into it today. In my last video I talked a lot about my hydration journey with my hair and the response that I received from that video was amazing. I got so many supportive and loving comments about how my hair was looking, how you guys can see the changes in my hair. I talked a lot about the maximum hydration method but I don't think that I really touched on how a lot of that conversation was influenced by material that I've watched from Black Girl Curls. So Black Girl Curls, if you don't know, I want you to check out before you leave, I want you to check out the description box because I am going to put a lot of information, a lot of resources there for you. But if you've seen challenges, challenges on YouTube or online about no butters, no oils, it was more than likely influenced by Black Girl Curls. There are two natural hair artists, stylists, which have now, they've they call themselves digital hairstylists, but they are actual licensed cosmetologists who have been practicing hair care and styling for years. And I love that they are professionals. They actually have a digital library. They um, made a book called Wash Your Damn Hair together. They just have a, a plethora of resources for the natural hair community for everyday people like you and I, but they also educate stylists as well. So again, I want you to check that description box if you don't know who I'm talking about today. More than likely you have seen some material that they have influenced, some conversations that they have influenced, but I want to give them their credit today because my hair, my hair journey has changed tremendously since watching their videos and listening to their podcast episodes and just learning so much from these two. So I wanted to share with you what I learned and why I love them. So I narrowed it down to five reasons why I love them. I mean, the list goes on and on, but I really wanted to kind of condense it to five reasons. So the number five reason why I love Black Girl Curls is that, like I said, they are two professionals that are giving you sound, professional, attainable, realistic advice and I love that. So being a natural hair influencer, blogger, YouTuber, whatever you want to call it, being in the natural hair community but not being a professional, it's kind of a weird stance to take because I've been a part of this community for so long but let's be real, I'm just sharing my experiences with you all and I'm sharing my experiences from me using products on my hair, my daughter's hair, my son's hair. I'm not a professional. Half of these people on YouTube are not professionals, right? And I know it's very ironic for me to sit here and be like, well, don't listen to the people that aren't professionals. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you want to consider the source when you're getting information. And a lot of the information on the internet is trash. It is garbage. I started to see a change in the natural hair community um, and, you know, content that was being shared when everything just kind of turned into a challenge or doing things for clout or likes when people are using Dawn dish soap to wash their hair or people are using Monistat on their scalp. That's what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and like I said, I mean, it, it was crazy to see the evolution because you went from OG natural um, YouTubers like natural 85 who still isn't a professional, but I believe that she was sharing pretty sound advice. So you went from OG natural hair influencers to people that are just popping up left and right every day and they have beautiful hair and they're telling you to do all these crazy things when realistically they could just have beautiful hair from genetics. Some people just have hair that is super resilient and they could do whatever to their hair and it's not going to get damaged. So I feel like a lot of the information that was being shared on the internet was inaccurate and totally dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like you're putting Monistat on your scalp. No, what are we doing? These two women that are sharing all of this knowledge and information with you are professionals. And they are professionals that are sharing accurate information that makes sense and that gives real results. Sorry, I'm drinking tea. Why? So if you if you see me reaching for something, that's what it is. It's tea. Um, but I can finally retire from being a product junkie and I don't feel like I have to be that person that's testing every product or that's buying in bulk for Black Friday, you know what I'm saying? Like building up a stash. I have my core crew. I have my products that work great on my hair. I'm still testing for my daughter and my son, but I have my products that I love for my hair. And I don't have the need or the want or the desire to go outside of that. 
one my my wallet my debit card they're happy about that you know what i'm saying my bank account my savings we good we good over here there's no need for me to sit here and spend all of this money on products just try to keep up with people or oh this line this brand just dropped a new line i felt a lot of the times that i was just trying products to keep up or so I wasn't left out, you know, just to say, let, let me let me see what the hype is about. Let me try this product. When in all actuality, and I haven't really discussed this a lot on my channel, so I'll create a separate video, but I am very, very sensitive to fragrances. To the Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a story, quick story time. And this is on my blog, where I talk about my hair sensitivity and the migraines that I get. I was so excited about the launch of Pattern Beauty, okay? I love Tracy Ellis Ross, love, love, love her. So when she announced that she was um, releasing Pattern Beauty, oh, I was all over it. I put reminders on my calendar, I set timers on my phone, this is the release date. I don't even know what she's having in her line, but I'm giving, I'm giving two of everything. I set timers and Lo and behold, it dropped and I bought everything. I bought things for me, I bought things for my mom, I bought things for my sister, blindly. I had no idea the ingredients that were in these products or anything. I just, I spent, I spent some money. So I get the products and I'm all excited, right? I just, you know, I'm doing wash day. I almost passed out in the shower, y'all. The fragrance was overwhelming they the products are very heavily fragranced and i get it a lot of naturals are okay with that i'm not and there's no reason why i should be trying products without doing full research without first of all making sure that they are no fragrance or low fragrance without doing full research on what's in the products and whether they're natural ingredients, whether they're synthetic ingredients, whether they have synthetic fragrances, that was my bad. I should have done my due dil diligence, but those products almost took me out. And I experienced that a lot, especially with products that have like a mint or a menthol. There are a lot of great products or staple products in the natural hair community that I just can't do because it has so much fragrance in it and I'm allergic. I, I have a very, 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 high sensitivity to fragrance and products so that's another thing that i like about black girl curls is that the products that they're recommending are typically organic they are water-based they are not convoluted with synthetic ingredients i mean i just love that i don't have to be a part of that lifestyle anymore and i understand i never had to be but i felt like i was always on the search for the next best thing i was always trying to figure out okay this works okay but there might be a better gel there might be a better moisturizer maybe there's a better shampoo and conditioner maybe there's a better this maybe there's a better that i felt like i was always trying to get to see what's better and i was never a hundred percent satisfied with my hair care regimen i have a list a whole list of favorite products on my blog and that's truly because i i was just out there trying stuff which i'm sure didn't help with my scalp sensitivity and the fact that i had inflammation a lot but i'm just happy like i said that i'm no longer a part of that community i'm not a part of that lifestyle no more product junkieism i'm good i'm good with my regimen I'm, I'm good so black girl curls thank you for that because you helped me realize that it's possible it's possible to just have like five maybe six products in your entire regimen from shampoo to styling yes yes <laughs> that's where we are so the number three reason why I really love Black Girl Curls is that I feel like I'm just learning so much from them. I'm learning to just continually audit my wash process from start to finish and I'm learning and I'm tweaking and I'm making changes and I'm seeing results and I could not ask for more. For someone who's been on a natural hair care journey for over 10 years on and off, it's just amazing that I feel like it's finally clicking for me. For the longest time, I felt like I was maybe using bad products, not thinking, okay, maybe I'm using good products, but I'm not using them the right way. Or maybe my hair just isn't meant for, you know, for me to wear it in its natural state. Maybe I have to just do twist outs and braid outs and protective styles all the time because I just can't get this wash and go. I didn't realize that you have to use the right products with the right techniques and you just have to be consistent. You have to make sure that you're washing your hair, you're clarifying your hair, you're hydrating your hair. And I just love that I'm continually auditing and I'm listening and I'm learning and it's just, 
it's a great feeling knowing that you're learning and you're applying changes and you're seeing results. And that that's all I can ask for. <laughs> that is all I can ask for is that I am listening to my teachers and I'm making good grades and I'm my confidence has skyrocketed. And yes, it sounds super, super superficial. You know, I'm sitting here and I'm getting beefed up like, okay, I'm doing good. Like I'm following a good hair care regimen and I'm seeing changes in my hair and it sounds super superficial, but it's a good feeling. So that brings me to my number two reason why I love black girl curls and that is I feel like I can appreciate 100%, appreciate and embrace and just celebrate my natural hair texture. And for the longest time, I felt like I shouldn't be. And that sounds crazy, right? I've never talked about this on my channel, but it sounds crazy that I felt like I couldn't embrace my natural hair texture because we talk so much about protective styles, right? But I didn't see any information out there about length retention while just doing wash and goes or you just being able to just wear wash and go every day but still grow your hair. We were always told and it was like beat into our heads, you have to do protective styles, braids, twists, keep your hair covered, keep your hair in a bun. You can't be um, over manipulating it. Now granted, when you're doing a wash and go, you shouldn't be over manipulating your hair. You should be able to style it and then just let it be for five to seven days, however long, until you wash it again. But it was really hard for me to connect because it was like the wash and go was like the evil stepsister in the natural hair community. It was just like, uh, like twist outs, braid outs, bantu knot outs, silk, even silk presses, I feel like. We're starting to get celebrated more than just embracing your natural hair texture. And it was crazy to me. And for a while it was just like, all right, well, I don't really have much to contribute to this conversation anymore, guys, because literally that's all I do is wash and goes. <laughs> Why am I still creating natural hair content when all I do is wash and goes? I can't give you guys any tutorials on these crazy styles because I'm not doing them myself. I don't know how to do a lot of them and I don't have energy to do them because my daughter has a lot of hair. So by the time I'm done with her hair, I don't have the energy or the bandwidth to do my own. So, but with just learning about black girl curls and the information that they're sharing and just seeing like i said they're sharing the information i'm applying the techniques i'm applying the knowledge that i'm learning and i'm seeing the results it's giving me that confidence that you know what i love my natural hair texture i love that i'm using these new products and it's locking in the hydration and i'm seeing a change in my curls i'm seeing a change in my curl pattern i'm seeing a change in the way that my hair responds to these products that I'm using, responds to these new processes. I now realize that I have to style my hair when it's sopping, sopping wet. It has to be drenched. I realized I still need to be spraying down my sections before I apply my styler, before I apply my F Uncle Funkies, then going in with like a gel-based product or a custard or something to further lock that in for a stronger hold. I also realized, you know what, Jennifer, you know what's gonna up your wash and go game even more? By setting the curls in and how do you do that with a diffuser or a hooded dryer i for the longest time and for the longest time i mean up until two washes ago <laughs> for the longest time i was just air drying and i noticed a huge change when i added that small step in my routine by now diffusing my hair my ultimate goal is to get a hooded dryer because that is going to set your hair in place it's going to lock the products in it's going to lock those curls and it gives you a longer set by making these small changes, it made me appreciate my natural hair more because I see a difference in the way that my hair looks, the way that my hair um, stays throughout the week, the way that my hair performs, the way that my hair moves. Like, my hair has always had movement. So, I mean, first of all, it moves. It moves. And my hair has never been super stiff, but I can even, like, I have a side part you can't even see it just because that's how much my hair moves right and and side note I did mention that this is day four hair and I've been working out and everything and I almost refreshed just to come to y'all a little cleaner but I was like no I want to give you an accurate representation of what my hair is looking like 
because I'm using those products and those techniques. I'm learning more information, I'm applying it, and I'm loving my natural hair texture. I don't feel like I have to do any type of styles to where I'm manipulating my curl pattern, twisting, braiding, or doing anything else to feel like I'm flourishing in my natural hair journey. And that's a great feeling for me. It's a great feeling for me and it's a great feeling and great information for me to be able to pass on to my daughter because same thing with her. I remember I was doing her hair a few months ago and she told me, mommy, I never see my curls. And that broke my heart because here I am washing her hair every week on a weekly basis and I'm seeing her curl pattern, I'm seeing her curls, but she never got a chance to see them because I would just twist or braid her hair down. That broke my heart. So now with the information that I'm learning, I'm starting to do not necessarily wash and goes, but I'm starting to do more styles that will allow her to see her natural curl pattern. So I'll do like two ponytails or I'll do like four ponytails and I'll let her see her natural curls. That's so empowering because every curl pattern, every coil, every curl, every bend is unique and it's special and it's beautiful. And I love that I can embrace that and pass that on to my children. That brings me to my final reason why I love Black Girl Curls, everything they stand for and everything that they have taught me to empower me. I'm just learning to fall in love with my hair all over again. I really am. And again, that is not in a vain way like, oh my God, I just love my hair. Don't you love my hair? Absolutely not. It's just me appreciating something that I have taken for granted for so long. Me embracing my natural curl pattern. Just my curls, the way that they grow out of my head. Learning to nurture and care for and protect and just embrace those curls. It's very empowering. It's a beautiful journey that I'm going through now and I'm starting to appreciate it that much more because I have that information behind me, you know? And like I said, I'm learning the information, I'm passing it down. I just made a little video with my son of me doing his hair and showing him how to do his hair. One, because I wanted to treat him, but also I want him to get into the, the, the mindset and the habit of, you know what, like I deserve this too. I know how to take care of my hair. I don't need somebody else to do it for me and I love my curls. So. I couldn't ask for anything more. I love Black Girl Curls, everything that they stand for. They're hilarious, they're entertaining. I can sit there and watch them talk for hours and I'm taking notes. Every little gem they drop, would, would you, oh, let me, let me write that down. Let me rewind and write that down because there's not a minute wasted. They give you so much, they drop so many gems and I, my hair journey has been forever changed. I hope that they continue these digital series, the digital library. I hope that they continue just sharing their information with us everyday people and passing that on to educators and stylists as well because I will be here to soak it all up, to absorb every little drop, every morsel of information that they want to share with us because I appreciate it. Hey beautiful people, so I hope that you enjoyed today's conversation. I realized that half of my hair was cut out of the video. So I'm gonna give you a full 360. So this is the front. It's not completely um, as big as it will get um, as the week progresses. I typically don't fluff my hair. I'll just kind of sweat it out, steam it out in the shower and just kind of let it get big on its own. So again, this is day two, this is the front. Side view. And I'm gonna try to give you the back. I'm holding my phone, so <laughs> bear with me. How'd it look? How'd it look? Let me know. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the conversation. I know the likelihood of Black Girl Curls um, catching this video is very low, but if you do happen to come across this video, ladies, I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for giving me the confidence to wear my natural texture and giving me the knowledge to just live my best life. <laughs> no, seriously, thank you for just um, continuing to teach everyday people like myself um the science of natural hair uh just to further appreciate my natural hair and to pass that information on to my followers and my children all right guys i love you bye